Hey there guys, Raymond here, also known as Rayvision, and check it out today, well we are going to be playing some Forza Motorsport 6. Now today we're going to be taking a certain car, that car being the Capato T1, and we're going to be driving it around the Nürburgring, and there is one thing I must tell you about this car right away, it is very tail happy, like I know it looks like a Formula 1 car, and I think I'm a half decent driver in this game, but holy shit did I just, all I did this race, literally is crash every minute <laughs> like every minute or so I was like oh it's about time for me to spin out at one point I was just like this car could literally be a drift car because you just give it a bit of gas it'll be like sideways time and even then sometimes it'll just go around a corner you won't break you won't accelerate it'll just be like nah I feel like drifting right now sorry buddy sucks to be you and so it just does all these I want to say crazy things but it's a little bit all over the place let's just say Definitely not my favorite car to have taken around the number ring. Definitely one of the more challenging ones. I'm telling you right now, this is by far one of the worst lap times you'll ever see for a P-Class car because it is that atrocious. I'm just all over the place. I oversteer, understeer, I do a little bit of everything, do some spinning around, do some 360s, do some drifting. Let's just say I'm having a good time. Whoever is last shall be sideways and smiling, right? Yeah, not really in this situation. I, well, I guess it was entertaining to an extent, but I mean, like, here we go. Spun out. Didn't hit the... Oh, I did hit the wall that time. That would have cost a fortune and a half in real life to repair. But let's just say that wasn't my first and only encounter with the wall. I got real friendly with it. Me and it had a long discussion about how it got all those scrapes around itself. Like, here we go again. <laughs> just... Oh boy, this car just doesn't want to be f friends with me, so I, I do a little bit of a J-turn, be like, alright, let's make it cheeky, but um, yeah, let's just say this car proved very challenging for me in a more than one way, because that's just, yeah, it was just, no, yeah, I, you, I think you guys get the idea, let's just say a lot of you guys rec recommended it, like, when I say a lot, I mean most of you, and this happened many, many times. Without exceptions, like, it just kept on happening. And I mean, like, it's fine, you guys can like the car. I, I like, no, I don't really like the car. <laughs> I've grown to, uh, not really dislike, I, I wouldn't say dislike, but strong word, but it's definitely not my favorite. I mean, like, someone offered me a car like that, for sure I'd say yes. But also be scared that I'd die the second I try and go around any track with it, considering how much just craziness happened whenever you try to drive this thing. Like right there, I did some uh, steady braking and I didn't accelerate coming out and I still went sideways. It's just like, sometimes you're just frustrated by it. <laughs> Obviously spun out there again, why do you think I was starting from zero? And this whole entire time was just like, I just did so many crashes at the course exit. Also, pro tip on Nürburgring, don't hit apexes. Um, I did that, I, I know well, you're not supposed to hit apexes, but I decided to hit apexes. By the side, I mean I accidentally hit apexes a couple times during this lap. And let's just say it proved more than fatal. And the reason why I say that was just because like I'd hit apex, and then especially with this car, which has no ability to absorb pretty much any shock, I'd just be like, okay, time to do a 360. Uh, example is right here. It wasn't a 360 though, but I hit the apex and you see how which it just sways the car and throws it off track because the apexes on the Nurburgring aren't regular apexes like a regular well I sorry they are regular apexes but they're very sharp and they're very small and as a result you often when you go on it it'll throw your car either off balance off level cause you to spin out drift or other form of chaotic bullshit if you know what I mean so oh my Jesus that is just crazy I crash into another wall I'm just saying. So apart from that, I picked up a couple anime last week. I don't know if any of you guys watch anime in the comments, but if you do, please leave me some recommendations. And the, over the past month, two months, I've gone really into anime and I've started watching a bunch of series and I really like it. I enjoy watching it and I'm just like, whenever I watch it, I'm just like, oh, this is so like, yes. Especially since I don't have my Xbox, anime gives me something to do and I'm just like, yes, I love anime. It is amazing. So interesting thing. I did not spin out on the straight, <laughs> as surprising as that may be. No, this car uh, on straights is very manageable, that's surprising, right? A lot of cars aren't um, being sarcastic, everything's pretty much manageable on a straight, except for drift cars, those things don't ever do well on straights, you're just trying to go straight, and you're like, no, stop drifting, yeah, that happens often. So look at that, we're already at like 7 minutes and 15 seconds, which means we can't finish under 7.30. 
or 740 I think and then watch this a little bit of an apex and what happened is the apex lifted my tire off the ground and so I could not turn and push me straight into the wall a little bit of some 360s and stuff come around this corner and I'll be like yo what's up hello I decided to do an e-brake to since I was already doing bad try and do a little bit of drift around the corner so I was like no 360s so as usual guys I want to thank you all for watching leave your comments in the comments below leave your questions in the comments below and I will see you all in the next one.